Hello, my very most beautiful Pisces. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your February mid-monthly reading. Now this is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. And everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. So Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my most beautiful Pisces, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Pisces energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. three twos so far so there's definitely decisions being made here definitely decisions being made um that seems pretty prophetic to me um let's take a look at this got the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck the hermit in the reverse yeah somebody's making a decision lovers six of pentacles in the reverse and the world in the reverse moon in the reverse star in the reverse wow okay so Something still feels very open. I'm definitely getting like unfinished business type energy here with the world card. And the lovers, another card that represents a decision. So major decisions being made through the remainder of February when it comes to a specific connection that you're in Pisces. Okay, whether you're choosing to give more to this or not, whether they're choosing to give more to this or not, whether you're choosing to move back towards each other, we're going to have to see. It does kind of look like to me that one person could be a little bit more um, interested in putting more effort into it than the other person, but we're going to have to take a look. You guys could be in a period of no communication with that hermit in the reverse, and it could be, you know, that could be something that's being broken here, you know, coming out of the silence. Now, the person you're dealing with, they have the magician in the reverse, the two of wands in the reverse, and the two of cups. So I, I would be careful with this energy. It does look like somebody's having a hard time moving past this, okay? And they could definitely want to like reconnect here to this to a cup's energy. However, that being said, I don't like the magician in the reverse with it, okay? To me, that can feel very, um, it can feel very manipulative. It's like somebody wants what they want and they don't really care how they have to go about getting it. Okay, so it's like they're not ready to be done with this yet. They're not ready to, to see you move on. They're not ready to move past this yet. And they don't care if they have to, you know, um, play on your emotions a little bit to get it. They don't care if they have to be a little bit manipulative to, you know, to keep you or to get you back, whatever. You know, that's kind of what that feels like to me. So I would just be cautious with that energy. Um, but you have the Two of Swords in the reverse, the Knight of Wands in the reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So to me, you know, I don't necessarily think that this is something that you want back. Um, the Knight of Wands in the reverse to me can feel kind of like a little bit of a disgusted energy. Um, there's something about this person. I feel like this person has done something in the past that's really hurt you or betrayed you or something of that nature here. Because um, it does feel like a little bit of a disgusted energy. Two of Swords in the reverse tells me that you are, you've made your decision and that you're clear about what you want. Um, and Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like you feel like you've wasted your time with this person. I feel like you don't want to invest any more into this with this energy as well. So I feel like this person is going to try to come back towards you and they're going to try to manipulate you because you do not want this. Okay, they, There's definitely a major decisions. They're going to be trying to break the silence. Like I said, that Six of Pentacles in the reverse tells me that you're not really interested in investing anymore to this. You don't really trust it. But it's still open because this person is still trying to find their way back in. So let's take a look at this. What are this person's true intentions towards Pisces? What is this person's true intentions towards Pisces? What are their true intentions towards Pisces, please? Tell me what their true intentions are towards Pisces. True intentions. Got the Four of Cups in the reverse. So, yeah, wanting wanting you to open up to them, wanting to get you to open up. Um, and they don't really care about how they have to do that. Page of Swords, okay, they're, they're figuring it out. They're in their head. How can I get Pisces to let their guard down? How can I get Pisces to open up to me here? 
Um, they don't want to be rejected. So they, they feel that from you. They feel that. Um, so the page of swords, they could be also, you know, kind of spying on you as well, Pisces. So keep that in mind. They could be checking on your social media, asking people about you, things of that nature. I also just feel like this is a very, it is a very manipulative energy. Um, as well so what actions will this person be taking towards pisces any actions that this person may be taking towards pisces ten of cups oh. and the eight of pentacles so they really want to work on this with you they're, they're going to say what they need to say a lot of them are going to play in your emotions like we can be happy again let us work on this let us try we can make this work um because they know that you did you did care for them. They know you did have a lot of love for them. They're going to play on that. So just keep that in mind here. Let's take a look at your true intentions. What are Pisces' true intentions moving forward? What are Pisces' true intentions moving forward? King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you have your boundaries set high. You know what's best for you. Um, and you know that this ain't it. So this is a very cutting energy. You could be coming very cold, very detached when it comes to this person. Okay. So let's take a look and see. Give me one more for Pisces True Intentions. We got the Hierophant. Yeah, so I feel like you guys are committed to yourself. You're committed to um, holding your boundaries up here. You know what you want. You want something long-term. You want something committed. And you know that you can't get it with this person. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what actions you'll be taking. What actions will Pisces be taking? What actions will Pisces be taking? Any actions? We got the Ten of Swords. So yeah, I feel like you're just leaving this let go. You're ready to have a new beginning. You're ready to let this be the end. Um, you know, that's kind of what that feels like to me. So you don't trust this person. You know that you're being manipulated as well. Eight of Cups, yeah, you're done. You're all the way done with this. You're not interested in um, any second chance or anything that this person has to say. So that is what I'm seeing for you guys for the remainder of February. If this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus will actually resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I'm sending so much love and light until next time.